welcome dear friends in this lecture we will discuss nernst equation this nernst equation related to cell potential cell potential is nothing but difference of potential between two electrodes for deriving nernst equation consider the reversible cell for which the overall reaction is a plus b gives c plus d and this small a b c and d represents number of moles of the respective components now for this reversible reaction whatever the free energy change that free energy change means delta g of the reaction is given by the equation delta g is equal to delta g0 plus rt ln qa this is equation number 1 in this equation this delta g represents free energy change that means gibbs free energy change and delta g0 represents standard free energy change whereas r represents the gas constant t represents temperature and the last term but important term is reaction quotient now we see what is meant by reaction quotient the qv represents reaction quotient and is given by the formula qa is equal to qa is equal to activity of the product divided by activity of the reactant and in the present reaction the qa is given by qa is equal to ac raised to small c ad raised to small d divided by aa raised to small a into ab raised to small b in this formula a represents activities of reactant and products in short in short reaction quotient qa is the ratio of activities of product divided by activities of reactant and the reaction quotient qa is similar to equilibrium constant k of the reaction the activity values are arbitrary values and not the equilibrium values but when a represents equilibrium value then qa become equals to k that means when activities become equilibrium activities then reaction quotient qa is equal to equilibrium constant k now further the relation between energy change and em of the cell is given by the fundamental equation the relationship between free energy change and em of the cell is given by the equation delta g is equal to minus n ec f delta g is equal to minus n ec f this equation is the bridge between thermodynamics and electrochemistry because it relates the two terms one from thermodynamics and one from electrochemistry now uh, second equation represents delta g0 is equal to minus n ec0 f in this equation this delta g0 represents standard free energy change and delta g0 represents standard free energy change uh, when all the reacting species involved in the cell reaction are in their standard states of unit activity delta g0 is the standard free energy change and when reacting species involved in the cell reaction are in their standard states of unit activity then free energy becomes standard free energy change and similarly e0c represents standard em of the cell now substituting these two values of delta g and delta g0 in equation number 1 that is delta g is equal to delta g0 plus rt ln qa we get the equation as follows that is minus n ec f is equal to minus n e0c f plus rt ln qa this is equation number 2 now if this equation 2 is divided by minus nf we will get 
the equation as follows that is ec is equal to e0 c minus rt ln qa that is equation number 3 now when this ln qa is converted to log base to 10 the equation becomes ec is equal to e0 c minus 2.303 rt divided by nf log base to 10 of qa this equation number 3 and equation number 4 this equation number 3 and this equation number 4 is known as Nernst equation for EMF of the cell. Now in this equation number 4 if the term QA represents activities of reactant and activities of product QA is the ratio of activities of product divided by activities of reactant and if the all the reacting species are in their st standard state of unit activity then under this condition this term of equation number 4 becomes 0 and EC equals to E0C means under the condition of standard activities cell potential becomes equals to standard potential of the cell that means EC is equal to E0C again in this equation if EC is expressed in volts EC is expressed in volts F that is Faraday constant is expressed as uh, 96485 coulombs R that is gas constant 8.314 joule per Kelvin per mole and the temperature is 298 Kelvin then equation number 4 becomes EC is equal to E0C minus 2.303 into 8.314 into 298 divided by N into 96485 into log base to 10 of QA and in short at 298 Kelvin Nernst equation becomes after solving this at 298 Kelvin Nernst equation becomes EC is equal to E0C minus 0 0.0591 divided by N into log base to 10 of QA the value of term 2.303 into R into T divided by F depends on the temperature and therefore at 298 Kelvin equation becomes as shown in here again now if we consider Daniel cell we have to derive the Nernst equation for Daniel cell we have to consider the cell reaction occurred in Daniel cell we know in Daniel cell in zinc compartment zinc oxidizes to form Zn2 plus and in copper compartment copper reduces to form solid copper and the reaction is as shown here Zn solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous gives Zn2 plus aqueous plus copper solid and for this reaction if we write reaction quotient we know reaction quotient is nothing but activities of product divided by activities of reactant and for the reaction of Daniel cell QA becomes QA is equal to activity of Zn2 plus into activity of Cu divided by activity of Zn into activity of Cu2 plus but as per our knowledge we know activities of pure solid becomes unity therefore reaction quotient QA is equal to activity of Zn2 plus divided by activity of Cu2 plus now again in this Daniel cell reaction n that means number of electrons involved in the cell reaction is 2 by substituting all this value Nernst equation for EMF of Daniel cell is written here EC is equal to E0C minus 2.303 into R into T divided by twice F log base to 10 of activity of Zn2 plus divided by activity of Cu2 plus and at 298 Kelvin Nernst equation for Daniel cell is at 298 Kelvin Nernst equation for Daniel cell is EC is equal to E0C minus 0 0.0591 divided by 2 into log base to 10 of activity of Zn2 plus divided by activity of Cu2 plus so friends here we discuss how we can 
obtain the EMF of the cell by using the Nernst equation. Thank you for watching.